this bit. Chuck Lorre Productions number 288 on season 3 of the Big Bang Theory. Over the years, CBS executives have always been very generous when it comes to sharing their ideas as to how I might better do my job. I have never returned a favor regarding how they might run their network until now. Now I have a really good idea. Step one, create an internal division <clears throat> with workers who do nothing but check out the claims of per perspective advertisers. And I mean really check them out. If it's a car, have someone, somebody, drive it around to see if it accelerates into walls or slow-moving pedestrians for no particular reason. If it's a beer, have someone drink it and report back if it gets them laid. If it's a pill, have someone take it for a while, then wait to see if they grow a tail, get anal leakage, or commit suicide. Step 2. Ooh, quality control. All commercials must be aesthetically pleasing, seriously funny, poignant, or dramatic. Any commercials deemed loud, stupid, and or obnoxious are not aired. Period. No exceptions. Step 3. It's always Super Bowl Sunday at CBS. Step 4. Watch the money roll in. A final thought. Don't worry about the initial loss of income created by dropping the dumb stuff. E.g. Cockney lizards who sell insurance. You'll more than make that money back by demanding that your high quality advertisers cut you in for a piece of their action. You have, after all, earned it by driving them, by giving them the CBS seal of approval. Another final thought. If you adopt my idea, my consulting fee is 1 million shares of CBS stock. Or better yet, 100 shares of Apple stock. Up until now, I've never paused to read those. Who was writing these? Seriously. And why were they felt so harassed by CBS executives to make that? Also, the, the commercial situation didn't get better as per this fellow or lady's idea. It actually got worse. Like that Pepsi commercial a couple of years back. Hmm. I guess the CBS executives weren't the only ones who were tone deaf to reality. Ah, yes, I've traded in a train going by for a dog that barks all night. Till next time. Toodles.